Kathy Bogan Consortium News. Hope you got a message for today. Good luck to Julian Assange and my love to him and his family. Thank you. That's a nice poster you've got. Hi. I saw you last night. Okay, okay. Um, have you got a message for today? Free Julian Assange. Thank you, Jenny. We're starting the May Day March in Brisbane. And this is uh, all, the, all the unions are here. The police are taking off. We have a Commonwealth vehicle at the head. Don't, nobody except the driver in there. As usual, these things are yeah, very animated. <laughs> Music of the I'll shut up. Yes, for the voice. So this is to give uh, our indigenous people a voice to parliament. And we're saying yes. Bogan Consortium News, what's the word for today? Yes! <laughs> yes to the union! United Factors! The gang's arrived! <laughs> Who's got the power? David Who's McBride the power? and Rain. Oh, oh, mutual filming, how intimate. <laughs> David McBride! Hi, how are you? What a beautiful day! A beautiful day for protest! Much. Oh, doggy even. Come on, doggy. Walking time. Start walking. Start walking. This is uh, Graham Dunstan. Watch out for the trees. <laughs> Vintage protester. Thank you. <laughs> Whose dog is that? Graham. Oh my God, he's lost. I don't know his name, Mom. Oh, this fellow. This fellow. Where's Jake? Is that your dog, Graham? Jake's at home. Poor Jake. Can you? Yeah, yeah I'll, do, I'll do the honours. You, you do the dog? Dog, dog duty, okay? I'll do, I'll do. Dog duty. Right. Canines for a song. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, do. Do. He's a lovely boy. <laughs> We're in Brisbane marching for Julian Assange's freedom. His father is here. We had to uh, run to catch up with them because they're pretty fit this month. <laughs> You're in enough trouble yourself, you're ma but you're marching for Julian today. I'm marching for Julian, I have to, really. It's solidarity, I mean, it's the same thing. Same thing as Bernard Caleri's case, my case. Um, and, you know, Julian's is the, is the biggest case of all, so... And he's in the most danger. So he is, It's yeah. the right thing to do, you know. Who, how much longer is it going to last? We don't actually know that. So yes. Every day counts.
Where are you doing? <laughs> you were at the event last night at the State Library. What did you hear? Oh. I'll get to the other side. Uh, about the national security intelligence legislation and the power the Attorney General has. Yeah. And how burden of proof to put control orders, detention orders, is only 51%. Yeah. I um, heard about the closed courts. I heard about closed court secret trials, the political, political, politicalisation of our judiciary system. Yeah. And a lot of people don't realise about the Woodrow Commission yeah. um, had a, a suppression order on that uh, 10 years ago. Yeah. But people would lose confidence in the judiciary if the truth come out. Yeah. So this has been an issue, been building and building and building for a long time. Yeah. Um, we heard David McBride, very passionate speech about McBride, yeah. about what's happened. Yeah. Uh, good men, good military men are uh, actually being locked up for yeah. political purposes. Yes, yes. Um, for McBride, telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. Um, we heard from Assange's amazing father about the Twitter file leaks concerning how Google, Facebook are all controlled by the intelligence services military and the censorship that has been going on, yeah. which includes COVID. Yes. Um, includes COVID whistleblowers. There's yes. many whistleblowers to COVID, yeah. who I would like to see here. And victims, I suppose, as well, trying to... Oh, massively victims. There's yeah. been notices on reporting of the injuries and what has gone on. Yeah. Uh, and then there's ARPA, and what ARPA has done to any doctor or professor that's spoken up who've been sacked, fired, yeah. which is the same as everything that was going on. Not just sacked, but lose their licence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not allowed to. It's complete censorship of everything anymore. Yes. Everything is censorship, everything is politicised. There is no free speech. Yeah, yeah. The only free speech is if you freely agree with them. Yes. What about um, war? What about AUKUS? Oh, we hear nothing about the war on Ukraine, what's happening in Ukraine. Uh, yes. And what's happened for eight years in the Donbass. Yeah. And the illegal coup in 2014 with the same names in, from Afghanistan, Iran, Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, yes. Yemen, the same names keep coming. Same people. And yet we do hear about it. If you search, if you dig hard enough, you'll find the channels, go to Telegram or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody yeah. thinks they're going mad and everyone's fighting like crazy because m most people don't know this. The corporations have made billions and billions and billions of dollars mm -hmm. out of Ukraine and the resources out of Ukraine, the oil and the gas yeah. that have been stolen for over eight years. Yes. And the people divided, a country that's seen so much, so much war over centuries and is still suffering. Yeah. And people divided who, oh, oh yeah. And, well, people are more divided than ever. They are. You know, uh, I was thinking last night that uh, it kind of explains it why America seems so kind of hard to understand. The real Dangerous, war. crazy, because they've misinformed their citizens now for so long. The real war, in my opinion, is against the American people. It is, yeah. The real war against the American as the empire falls down. And and falls down. We hear nothing about BRICS, which is a, a rival to G7. We hear nothing about BRICS yeah. and, and a rules-based, uh, a unipolar world, not unipolar world. The, the rules-based international order? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we hear nothing about that. that yes. that that's been, you know... Um, well, I did hear something about it. I heard Lavrov speaking oh, no. about four or five days ago. Well, the interesting thing, no, to be fair, on WikiLeaks, there's a lot of stuff about the military-industrial complex in Russia itself. Yes. There's an awful lot of stuff. It's well, not course. as if they're the good guys or anything like that. No, there's no good and bad in no, the no, story. No, no. There's only true and false. And we haven't got a goddamn clue what false is now. And you look at war, the, the first victim of war is always the innocent. Always. Always the innocent. And the truth. <laughs> war mars everything. It mars everything. You want to know the truth behind the truth? Behind the truth behind the truth? Hi, John. 
Yeah. It's a nice weather, isn't it? <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Good day for a protest. Yeah, and, uh, Queensland have turned it on. So Queensland the gods are with us. The what? That's right. The gods are with us. Got, like, yeah. Down in Melbourne that day. Queen well, Queensland should be proud of Julian, right? He's got roots here Everybody, as well. I noticed I was going to make a joke about it. Everybody claims it's the same yeah, 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 right. Melbourne claims him as their own, yeah. and Queensland, and now Byron Bay. Oh. Which is a little bit suspicious, that one. <laughs> but, he's just, but he's Australian. He's Australian. He's not American. Yeah, We're clear on that. So, looks like you're uh, Julian Assange's uh, supporters, right? Sure are. Yeah. Did you march? I didn't see yes, you during the march. Yes, march. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that you could do, Prime Minister Albanese, is to bring Julian Assange home. Put everything else on the back burner until that man is home. He's suffered enough. So I'm demanding his freedom. Yeah. Julian is a courageous freedom fighter and will go down in history for the work that he has done for our world in telling the truth, in saving lives. Stella, the boys, his dad, his beautiful mother Christine, they all deserve to have Julian home and for him to have his freedom. He's suffered and been tortured enough for doing the right thing. Thank you, Julian. You are a legend.